The Riley and Kimmy Show has a big pleasure of, well, meeting somebody from Star Wars, and I don't want to make you feel bad here or act like a big nerd with you or geek or anything, but I'm a big fan of yours. Uh, from I, I think we're all, we're all a nerd in some ways. I really? mean, my, one of my sons is a nerd because he's an intelligent young lad and he works very hard and he speaks several languages and he really works hard. So, and as your lovely jacket you're wearing, I'm being more subtle. Okay. But I, I think, you know, I think we're all a bit of a nerd, don't you think? Well, the nerd next to me is Jeremy Bullock from Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, and you've done quite a few fan films, Star Wars based too, yes, right? Some, some years ago I did, yeah, that was great fun. And you're here at MegaCon. Of course, this is going to be wrapped up by the time we make this available. The event is in the history books. I hope it's been a good experience for you here. Oh, it's been great. You know, it's been quite packed. I can't believe how many people came. Uh, uh, yeah. You know, one of the things I like seeing with you, about you, is you actually interact with the fans. I mean, you seem to really enjoy this. No, I, I enjoy it because they, they, you want to hear what they've got to say about the event. And some people have said, my goodness me, it's busy, you know, and, and yesterday it got bigger and bigger and you have to, tr c you know, just sort of tread round people and say, excuse me, I'm terribly sorry. But everyone interacts very well here. Now, obviously you, you like the people that run MegaCon because you're going to be at the Dallas uh, Con next week, right? But I think that was great. It seemed a, a good idea. They said, would you come along to Dallas after here? And I said, well, it instead of going all the way back to England and coming out again, it just makes sense. Sure, sure. And one of the things I, I I'm going to be honest with you, I have to get the book, is I didn't realize, because you've done a lot of cons over the years, you actually wrote a book about cons, conventions, that is, and experiences with them, correct? Well, I did. I, I wrote a book, really, about my, my life as an actor, having been acting now for 20, no, wait a minute, 54 years now. A long time, but my book was 2,000 copies sold, and that was it. But there may be, and what I'm going to try and do is to do the talking book. Nice. So that might be on my website, but at the moment, uh, I, when I get home, I'm going to start thinking about it, get the help from my son, uh, and see what, see what happens. And I, I, I'm sure you've been asked, because Boba Fett's now coming back into the Star Wars world, is there any chance that you might be in that future world? Maybe not as Boba Fett, or because you've done other roles in Star Wars, not just yeah, Boba I mean, Fett. Three sort of different different characters, you know, Lieutenant Shekel as one, and uh, and Captain Colton in the recent ones. Um, it's nice to be asked to do things, but you know, I've I think I've done my bit as Boba Fett. It was huge fun. I was very lucky to get the part. Uh, and if you suddenly saw Boba Fett walking in the the cantina, what a surprise that would be! Wow, wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> that that, that would be walking fun. Walking in, ordering a cup of tea, uh, so it's nice. Now, is it true that a man of Star Wars is a big fan of Star Trek? Yes, uh, so I grew up with Star Trek, uh, William Shatner and, and Co. and all, everybody. It was it, it was just such a fabulous. Oh, wow, that's fantastic, Star Trek. And little did I know all these years later that you're involved in a similar thing. So that, and also probably you were young, quite young, when Doctor Who, you were oh, yes. influenced with the, the Doctor as well, yeah, a little bit. I was about bit. 20, I think, 21, yeah. uh, and I did two, two lots of stories of that. So I think we always say, have you, have you done a, a Doctor Who story? Yes, I have. Have you done a Doctor Who story? And everyone's asking you, just in case they might wipe you off. So I learned to say, no, I don't think I have, You're just in case. <laughs> I'll ask you one last question yeah. so I can get you to your table um, and meet your fans, is the, the uh, when, when you, because I, I, I know you've been asked so many Star Wars questions, and I, I'm probably asking one you've been asked a million times, so please forgive me on that. Yeah, but okay. when you were approached to do the role of Boba Fett, how much time did you have to prepare? Well, did he give you a script and say, okay, you no, have... There was no script. Okay. Um, because, well, good, good luck, you know, because, you know, you, you just looked at the small lines I have, or few lines. Um, right. I was in the theater at the same time. Okay. So I was doing two jobs at once. But with Boba Fett, you're under the mask and all you're saying, put Captain Solo in the cargo hold. And when you're there going, you, you can't hear what I'm saying. 
And they said, right, thanks, Jeremy. Okay, let's move on. Next shot. And then I managed to go to uh, the theatre, do what I had to do there, and then back to do another, another piece. It was just wonderful to be involved. And I think I was terribly lucky to play the part of it because I was in the theatre and they don't let you go. They say, if you do that, then you're not in the play. Whoa. And it's that strict. I didn't realize that. Wow. You can't suddenly, you can, you can say, oh, I've got this part, a small part. One of them said, well, as long as you're here by six o'clock in the evening, you know, because if you're late, then that's it. Yeah. So it's very, it's very strict. One, seriously, last question. The, the, the very last one. How soon, at, or how, how long did it take before you realized how big Boba Fett was you were to Star Wars? Um, I think I realized it when they re-released the films. Do you remember they put them back into the big cinemas again? Yes. And it was then that I thought, actually it's quite, it's quite fun. I watched it again with the, the young ones they were then. And I thought, this is, this is quite good. Just the odd look and... And this then, I thought, there was a reaction in the cinema. They were oh. saying, there was a slight, oh, oh. So, you know, that's when I thought, yes, he's, he's more important than I thought. Well, thank you very much for sharing some moments here with us. And, I, I mean, really, thank you very much. And we look forward to seeing you again, maybe not here, but at another location. A nice sort of invitation, but you get invitations from London to China, you know, I mean, it could go anywhere, but you, you, we do need time also to, to be with the kids as well. Jeremy Bullock, Megacon in Orlando, we record this. He'll be in Dallas, Texas the following weekend. Be sure to check him out. If you're in that area, you can't meet a nicer guy. Thank you, Jeremy. Next on my list.